journeying towards the celebration of centenary year of the presence and mission of the Salesian Sisters in India, 1922-2022, with Mary through the course of the century and beyond, presenting sparks of Salesian spirituality. God sees me. God sees you was a powerful message Don Bosco learned from his wise and God-fearing mother, Mama Margaret. She used to say, God always sees you, even when I do not. I may not be there, but He is always there. At a tender age, these words of his dear mother got imprinted in the heart of young Johnny Bosco. In fact, it made a great impact in his life. Awareness of the presence of God forms a delicate conscience. One day, when Mama Margaret was away from home, young Johnny, who was fond of sweets, climbed on a chair and while trying to take the sweet box, he dropped the oil tin. He cleaned up the place and waited on the way for his mother with a cane in his hand. What's it, Johnny? What is all this on your clothes? Punish me now. What for? I broke the pots. God sees you is an oft repeated phrase of Don Bosco to his boys. In the oratory of Don Bosco, the phrase God sees you was displayed on the corridors and the living places of the boys to remind them of the loving presence of God. All Don Bosco's care and strength was directed at preventing the boys from offending God, and he was preoccupied that they lived in the presence of God. He would say to the boys, Why at games, or during conversations, or during free time, raise your minds to the Lord, offering Him all your actions? I heard Don Bosco recommend the thought of the presence of God in such terms that it seemed like he saw God before him. I was convinced of this when I saw his modest deportment and the way he carried himself. It was as if he were walking in the company of great personality. Awareness of the presence of God was a factor that helped the pupils to carry out their duties conscientiously. Mother Mazzarello, our mother and co-foundress too, always lived in the presence of God. As a young girl, while working in the vineyards, often she would raise her eyes to the heavens. Once, in the meeting of the sodality of the daughters of Mary Immaculate, she confessed with a sincere feeling of remorse that she had wasted a quarter of an hour without thinking of God. At another time, while tying the wine branches out of fatigue and of her impatience, she began to cut off even tender shoots. Soon. She felt remorse about it and ran to confess. Her friend Petronilla testified, Mary not only thought of God constantly, she lived in His presence and even more she lived lovingly united with Him. She was so permeated with the reality of God that she felt and found Him everywhere. She carried Him with her walking in the house, walking down the street, actively engrossed in the work in the vineyards, her thought was always lost in God. 
Mother Enriqueta Sorbonne testified. In her multiple duties, she kept herself aware of God and endeavored to do His will even in little things. I saw her continually vigilant over herself, allowed to make sure that she and everyone else lived in the presence of God. She would raise the questions like, For whom are you working? What is the time? And she would give the answer that it is a time to love the Lord. And one of her famous quotes, Let every stitch be an act of love for God, speaks volumes of her strong awareness of living continually in the presence of God. Don Bosco, in his later years working among the young, gives so much of importance to the presence of the educator, whose presence is always a reminder of God's ever-loving presence among the boys. The awareness of God's presence in our lives helps us to appreciate His love and to follow His commandments. In Psalm 139.7, we read, Where can I flee from your presence, O Lord? Psalm 15 describes the characteristics of those who live in the presence of God. Loves truth, loves others, honors righteousness, values commitments, values people. The Holy Scripture and the Holy Founders, Don Bosco and Mother Mazzarello, teaches us that living in the awareness of God sees me is a sure way to holiness.